Hi, I'm Paul Eskier, the Extension Field Crops Plant Pathologist with UW Extension and UW Madison. And today we're out at our Arlington Research Station talking a little bit about what the spring conditions have been like and how that may impact some of the early season sort of soybean seedling diseases we could expect to see this year. Give you an example, this field was planted approximately two weeks ago and we're starting now to see uh, soybean emerge out here. We do a lot of trials with some inoculated pathogens for things like Fusarium species or Rhizoctonia solani. And the key I think that we're trying to get a, a better grasp on is, is really being out in the fields early to look at are there issues in stand and emergence. The key factors we have to think about uh, for the spring conditions that may influence what we're seeing is sort of been a combination of soil temperature, which has remained fairly cool, mostly in the 40s throughout our planting, uh, our planting conditions the past uh, few weeks or so. Soil moisture, which for many areas of the state have been at uh, field capacity or maybe even higher because those are things we're concerned about from a drainage perspective and how some of these pathogens interact. The soybean variety we're growing or sowing into that soil bed because there's different sources of genetics we might think about for diseases such as Phytophthora and whether or not seed treatment fungicides have been used on some of these. Our data and experience has shown in, in heavily infested ground where we are focused on seed treatments, we do see a significant response to the use of seed treatment fungicides. In particular, uh, again, that's targeting specific pathogens. So when you're out this spring doing your stand assessments early in the season, this is also an excellent time to try to determine if a pathogen or a disease is involved. The four main diseases we're really focused on are those caused by Phytophthora or Pythium as well as Rhizoctonia and, and a composite of Fusarium species that could cause us some problems. What we're really trying to avoid is a situation where we had a couple years ago a lot of reports in August or September about poor stands in the fields that we couldn't directly trace back to as primary cause early in the growing season. Active scouting really starts right after planting.